question number 76 in this one we have to find area of the given region bounded by the given conditions okay so first of all in these type of questions we'll draw the graph okay so first of all we'll draw all the graphs and see which area exactly we have to find so first condition is given as x plus y less than equal to 3 so what we'll do is we'll remove the inequality sign and we'll put equal to sign and that will give you x plus y equal to 3 so that gives you equation of a straight line so we'll draw that straight line so let's say this is our x plus y equal to 3 next condition is x square equal to 4y x square equal to 4y so this will give you a opening upwards parabola so this is x square equal to 4y next is y equal to 1 plus root x so we'll get something like this y equal to 1 plus root x now next we'll see what is the required area for us so x plus y is less than equal to 3 so x plus y less than equal to 3 means below the straight line x square is less than equal to 4y so that means above this graph and y is less than 1 plus root x that means below this graph so therefore the required area which we have to find is this one so to find this area first of all we'll have to find the important points for this bounded region so this point we can find out by solving x plus y equal to 3 and x square equal to 4y so that will give you 2 comma 1 next is this particular point so this point will be the point of intersection of y plus y equal to 1 plus root x and x plus y equal to 3 so that is 1 comma 2 so now what we can do is we can divide the required area in two regions so like this okay so one will be on the right hand side of this dotted line one will be on the left hand side of the dotted line so we have to first we will integrate from 0 to 1 so 0 to 1 what we will integrate this equation of this minus this so that will be 1 plus root x minus x square upon 4 then from 1 to 2 will integrate this minus equation of this so that will be 1 2 that will be 3 minus x minus x square by 4 now we can integrate and put the limits so this is simple integration so that will give you x plus 2 by 3 x raised to power 3 by 2 minus x cubed by 12 and we'll put the limit from 0 to 1 plus this will give you 3x minus x square by 2 minus x cubed by 12 and that will be limits between 1 to 2 so we can calculate this this will give you 1 plus 2 by 3 minus 1 by 12 plus 6 minus 2 minus 8 by 12 minus 3 and then plus 1 by 2 and plus 1 by 12 so if we simplify this we'll get 5 by 2 
okay so the final required area is 5 by 2 square units so therefore the correct option for this question will be the third option next is question number 77 this is a differential equation given to us and in this question the value of y for x equal to 0 is given as 1. We have been asked to find the value of y if x is equal to pi by 2. So first we have to solve the differential equation. So dy by dx we can rearrange and write dy by dx as minus of y plus 1 cos x upon 2 plus sin x. Now very simple integration we can first of all convert this into variable separable and write it as dy upon y plus 1 equal to minus cos x dx upon 2 plus sin x okay so this is very simple integration that will give you log y plus 1 on RHS as you can see that differential of 2 plus sin x will be equal to cos x so basically this integral is in the form of dt upon t so that will give you therefore minus log 2 plus sin x plus c now we can take this to RHS and using the properties of log we can write it as log y plus 1 into 2 plus sin x equal to c so therefore y plus 1 into 2 plus sin x will be equal to some constant k now it is given in the question that at x equal to 0 y is equal to 1 so we can put those values so if you put y equal to 1 here that will give you 2 if you put x equal to 0 that will be 2 and that will be equal to k so therefore the value of k is equal to 4 so finally we will get the solution of differential equation as equal to 4 now we have been asked to find the value of y at x equal to pi by 2 so we can put the value of x as pi by 2 so that will give you y plus 1 into 3 equal to 4 so therefore y plus 1 is equal to 4 by 3 so therefore y is equal to 1 by 3 so this is our final answer y equal to 1 by 3 so the correct option for this question will be the fourth option